Good morning, folks. We're going to review the solar storm and several of the potentially related impacts. There were a lot, and that could continue today. We'll also see a new resource, but we are starting with the last 24 hours on our star. We had a little break from solar flares and Earth-directed CMEs. There is a sizable coronal hole turning towards center disk. The solar wind is finally dying down after geomagnetic storm activity did reach level 3 with KP7, lingering conditions into this morning. We'll have eyes open for more space weather activity, including reverberation storms, which may crop back up today. But right now, let's take a look at some of the events in the huge uptick of potentially related incidents. More pink aurora. We continue to see these more and more, and their prevalence recently is linked to increased particle intrusion as Earth's magnetic field continues to weaken. We know a grounding fault occurred in the Discover satellite, which caused a glitch in the solar wind readings for a bit when the second CME impacted yesterday morning. We've actually seen several satellite issues recently. IBEX struggled to a considerable degree, and so did MAVEN at Mars. And of course, ICON is still down. Been a more prevalent incident event the last several months. But back to this solar storm. We noted about a 3x increase in electrical fire reports, it's way above normal. Same with electrical glitches and system outages causing delays and service disruptions. More air incidents, this one before the winter storm actually affected the region to any significant degree. There were four volcanoes in Alaska that either had eruptive activity or significant increases in earthquakes within the volcano, and all as the aurora was overhead and inducing currents through the North Pacific Arc. More random explosions and fires at chemically related facilities. One nearly triggered a nearby hydrogen storage, which would have been very bad. And an engine issue took down an oil tanker in Manila. While we may never know the details of many of these incidents, they are the exact type we'd expect to see during solar storms, and it's amazing how above average their reports were yesterday. Folks, there is an observer-created app called Dropalo. The long-term observer made this for event notification, risk awareness, and even the ability to connect with nearby observers. It is in test phase now for observers in the UK. You can find it on Android. Members in the UK, go ahead and give them some feedback. Here's a quick observer ranch update. Our welcome center is looking pretty good. Can't wait to open several months from now. Still a good bit of work to do. Our Arizona event is almost sold out now as well. Grab your tickets to our upcoming tour events while you can. We greatly appreciate your support. Find links to the observer resources below the video in the description box. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.